Blender 3D is one of the best 3D software in the world. It offers the support for all the 3D creation pipeline, which makes it a great tool for creating short animations, especially if you are starting out. Many Blender artists and small teams has been creating wonderful and award-winning animation with Blender tools and features, and so can you. In this video, we are going to see all the steps needed to create an animation in Blender. Now, without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create four high-quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. First, we have pre-production. This is the part where you are going to do the planning, the storyboards, the environment, and the characters. Many beginner artists overlook this stage when creating their short animations, which is a huge mistake. The pre-production stage is what defines how your movie is going to look like. And if you skip this stage, you will end up wasting more time in other stages. And in a worst case scenario, you will end up with a poor looking movie. We can split the pre-production stage into four main steps. The first one being creating the story. So before you start making your film, you will need to have a story in mind. Brainstorm a few ideas of what you want your story to be about and what you want your message to be and who are the people that you are targeting. Now when you get all of your ideas backed up, you need to turn them into a script in which you will write all the story with the characters and their dialogues. The script can refine certain flaws that your initial story might have. After this, you need to create the storyboards, which are a visual representation of the script. So you basically draw your story scenes like the interaction of the characters with the environment and each other. You can make some additional notes to make it clear what is happening in the image. The storyboard also allow you to see how long every action and scene will take to complete. So for you to create a storyboard with Blender, you will have to use the grease pencil feature, which gives you the ability to create the storyboards and also the animatics. By the way, the animatics is the stage where you can see your characters in motion and see what they will look like on the screen. You can plan the sequences of your scene and the visual effects, you will have to add them later. After this stage, you should finalize all of your scenes and dialogues as you don't really want to change it in the production stage. Model Sheets Model Sheets will show you every angle of your 3D model. These drawings display all sides and expression of your characters and all the view angles of your environment. Having a detailed drawing here makes modeling the characters with Blender more easier in later stages. Second, we have production. Now that you have done all the planning, it's time to take the concept and your story and put them into action. You will start the creation of the stuff that the viewer are going to see in your movie. And the first part of it is modeling. Modeling is the stage where you turn your characters from a 2D drawing into a 3D model. It's here where the model sheets are useful because you will have the 2D concept of your character from all angles. And you can do that with Blender modeling tools and features. You can even use Blender sculpting tools for that, which is a better choice if you are working on stylized or realistic characters. After that, you will start to create the environment and all the props that comes with it. And for more artists, it's here where they spend a lot of time. Because there is so much stuff to do, I know it's highly depend on your project's complexity, but I think you should keep that in mind. UV unwrapping. So before you can shade your models, you need to project your 3D model into a 2D image, so you can draw on it. This process is called UV unwrapping. Blender of course offer all the necessary tools to UV unwrap your models. If you are not going to draw and your models are not that complex, you can skip this stage with no problems. Painting and texturing. 
It is here where you are going to add colors and textures to your objects and make them look alive. You can do it by drawing on your characters or props using the Blender painting mode and all its brushes and tools. Also you can use materials that you can create with the node based procedural material creation system that Blender offers. Rigging and animation. Rigging is the process of creating bones for your 3D object so you can use them later for the animation. You can use the set of Blender rigging tools to create simple and complex rigs for your characters and props. You can even use some rigging add-ons to make the process easier. Animation Animating your models is the act of making them move in 3D world. Alongside that, you have to control your camera movement to get the best shot possible. The animation tools in Blender are really what every artist needs to create a high quality short movie. Also I want to mention that the animation stage is one of the longest stages of production so you can use tools like the built-in Blender motion capture system to reduce the time spent in there. Lighting Lighting is a very important part of making your animation look alive. You can use it to set the mood and feel of your shots. Lighting is so important because sometimes the lighting quality and use is what makes or breaks a movie. Rendering Rendering is creating an image sequence or an mp4 file of your final animation. You can choose to render your animations with different render engines using Blender and as a side note, rendering your animation will probably take some time so using a render farm is a good move here. Thirdly, we have post-production. Now that you finished the main stuff, it's time to make your animation look better and that's by using compositing and video editing. Blender has a built-in compositor that allows you to color correct and visually enhance your movie shots. Also it has a video editor, it's there where you can further edit your shots and add text to your animation. Also you can add music, sounds voiceover and sync them with your characters that's it for this video tell me in the comment below what you think about creating animations with blender make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one thank you for watching goodbye